What's up y'all? In today's video, I wanna go over how I stretch the swing arm on my pit bike. Let's go. What's up guys? So this is just a, a picture in picture of the of the progress I've made on the swing arm, some video and some pictures of the build so far. And we're gonna go through it together and I'll kind of explain the steps that I've taken and, and what I did. This is probably gonna be a two part deal. The second part I'll I'll include, you know, fitting the wheel, the paint, uh, and then the uh, install on the bike. Let's see, let's get started. Uh, so here, uh, just a picture of the comparison between the wheels that are going to be going on, the stock wheel, and then the 14-inch uh, the wheel that's going on here. And then here is a picture of the pieces of the stock swing arm that are all cut up. Some of these pieces I'm going to use, some of them I'm not. Um, I just kind of made that decision as I went, what I was going to use and what I was going to remake. Uh, and then going into it, uh, just kind of getting links, looking at the stock links versus kind of what I wanted in order to fit this wheel on there. And then uh, just making straight lines best I can. And then I didn't have any fancy tools with this build. Just sawzalls, grinders, and a, and a Harbor Freight welder. Um, so yeah, nothing too fancy. I used the, uh, I cut out that original mount from the stock swing arm. Just traced it onto my new, my new lower bracket. Uh, and then just cut along my line. Recreated that circle that the uh, original swing arm has so it can mount to the frame. Test fitted it, a lot of test fitting before welding, right? Cleaning it up right there. Kind of got it, got it where I wanted it. Another shot to the other side. Test fit, test fit. Little motor, little test fit on the motor over and over. And then just some welding. Uh, at, at work, I got a welder too, so I was able to work on this a little bit here and there. And then this next picture is just gonna demonstrate kind of the length of the bar that I went with versus the stock size. The lower bar is a little bit beefier than the, than the Razor, the razor uh, lower bar also. Some of the welds. Now, I'm not a professional welder by any means. Um, I'm sure you could critique these welds all day, but I think they'll hold the backsides. This is where they mount to the frame in that lower portion. Just more, more grinding, cleaning up the welds a little bit. Test fit. Test fit, test fit, over and over. And then here's a cut of the 45 degree angle that we used to put that rear steel on there. Just use a piece of 90 degree bend and uh, cut off the side that I wanted. And you'll see here, just took that chunk, measured it where I wanted it to, to attach to the frame and how much I wanted left over for the wheel to mount. Heated it up along that line, put it in that vise, and bent it over. And then with this little tool here, I was able to, to get it right with the, the degrees that I wanted so that here it slides on perfectly on that backside, it's perfectly smooth, kind of like how the stock one is. Those welds look all right. Gonna test fit here. This is where I was gonna, I'm working on setting the motor in. So I took a piece of 90 degree bend uh, and the old bracket, used the holes from the old bracket, just transposed them onto a new piece of 90 and test fit to the motor. Slid the motor in where I wanted it to be so that it was straight and packed it up. There's the weld, that should hold. Just 
get some molding at the house. And this is the the finished, I guess, finished weld after it's been welded and ground here. Not too terrible, I think that'll do. And then kind of what it looks like now. This is the picture of the wheel that I'm sticking in there. Kind of give you an, an idea of the size. It's gonna be a tight fit, but it'll be good. All right guys, so that wraps up part one of the swing arm build so far. Stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna go over fitting the wheel, the axle, the bearings in the wheel, and I'm probably gonna go over the paint process that I used to. And again, if you're still here, thank you for your time. Like I say, I know you can be doing a thousand other things. So thanks again, subscribe, hit the like button, hit a comment, ask a question. Later dudes, bye.